Research is underway to help doctors increase the chance of conception for couples looking to have a baby through in vitro fertilization. The Reproductive Associates of Delaware has teamed up with the University of Delaware to do that research. And this week's first look will introduce you to some of those involved, including one family that walks us through their fertility journey. Our relationship has become stronger through the journey that we've had to it go is. through. That journey was in vitro fertilization, and their little baby Ben is proof of when it's successful. However, it's a costly route that Scott and Jesse never thought they would have to travel. I felt like it was a car payment that I'm paying, <laughs> and I'd rather have a beautiful baby than a, than a new BMW. $16,000 is what the Wilsons had to pay, and that amount didn't include medications that were just as costly. If you don't want to have a baby, you know, so you take birth control and stuff like that, that stuff's covered, you know, but IVF is not covered, so it's kind of weird. Here at the Reproductive Associates of Delaware, improving IVF success is important. Dr. Feinberg believes that could happen by researching the nutrient where embryos grow. And we're trying to understand how they're made, how many are made, what these little bodies contain as far as key molecules, whether or not these little bodies talk to the uterus and actually say, hey uterus, let me, let me in, let me implant, let me form a pregnancy. So there's a lot of questions as we go down the path. Identifying a healthier embryo early on is key for University of Delaware professor Dr. Patricia DeLeon, who is on the research team. The more information we get, then the more we can approach it in a, in, in a, in a new uh, way and the more, the more closer we get to accuracy. The Wilsons were quite lucky, only having to undergo one cycle of IVF. For other couples, that's not always the case, which is why this cutting-edge research is necessary and possible thanks to grant money from the Delaware Bioscience Center for Advanced Technology. Here's a situation where uh, Dr. De Leon's research just n was a natural fit for what uh, RAD, uh, Reproductive Associates of Delaware, needed to help them find a better way to improve IVF. So, you know, everything came together, but our grant program is ultimately about supporting Delaware's economy by supporting innovative research collaborations with businesses. Also, identifying a healthy embryo means a healthy pregnancy for IVF couples. According to Dr. Feinberg, multiple cycles can be an expense that burdens the health care system. We probably save the health care system in Delaware alone probably millions of dollars every year just by avoiding the multiple pregnancy problems and cost. So I think it's just continued evolve, evolving practice to try to make things more and more reasonable. I think what scares the insurance companies and employers about covering what we do, it's not so much the cost of what we do here, it's the implications of the costs. Jesse adds another reason why she thinks insurance companies aren't willing to pay up. What the insurance company told me was that they don't see it as a necessary medical procedure. So that's why they don't cover it, because mm -hmm. you don't have to be pregnant. However, once there is a positive pregnancy test, even through IVF, Jesse says insurance will kick in. Meanwhile, at RAD, officials say there are thousands of women every year who seek fertility help and roughly 12 to 1,500 patients move forward with treatment. With me going through it, that's one of the reasons I've been very vocal. And if people ask, I'm very open about my experience because there's not enough people talking about it. If all goes well with research, it's possible more couples will have the success the Wilsons experienced. But despite the cost of IVF, which could range anywhere between fifteen to forty thousand dollars, Jessie says she wouldn't trade in her fertility journey for the world. In the end, you forget about that because you end up with a baby in your arms, and you just sit there and look at them, and you love them, and you don't think about all the hardships that you had right. to go through to conceive that child. 
To further explain in vitro fertilization, that's when doctors collect the eggs and sperm and make the fertilization happen outside the uterus in a dish. It's a tedious procedure that handles the fertilized egg carefully right before the early embryo phase. Michelle, what's next for the couple in your story? Uh, while the Wilsons surely are extremely grateful for their blessing Big Ben, I like to call mm -hmm. him because he's a big baby, they're actually looking forward to expanding their family in the near future and hopefully they'll be successful at the next try and produce a baby girl. Mm -hmm. So they'll likely go through IVF again. Yes, exactly, IVF will okay. be their choice. All right, thank you so much, Nichelle. We'll continue to report on this issue. You can watch it here on First and check it out at newsworks.org Delaware.